Welcome to the Dendera Temple Complex, one of Egypt's best preserved temple sites, located near the city of Kina. As we approach, you'll notice the massive walls flanking the entrance gate, hinting at the grandeur that lies within. This complex, spanning several eras, is predominantly dedicated to Hathor, the ancient Egyptian goddess of love, beauty, and joy. We're now moving towards the Roman Mamisi, or birth house. Its intricate carvings depict scenes of divine birth and celebration, showcasing the blend of Egyptian and Roman artistic influences. This structure, built during the Roman period, reflects the continued reverence for Egyptian deities even under Roman rule. Let's take a closer look at the exterior walls of the Hathor Temple, covered in detailed hieroglyphs and bus release. Next, we enter the Temple of the Birth of Isis. This small but significant temple is dedicated to the goddess Isis, mother of Horus. Its walls are adorned with exquisite carvings that narrate the sacred birth of Isis and her divine lineage, emphasizing her importance in Egyptian mythology. These carvings illustrate various mythological scenes, rituals, and deities. Now, we stand before the majestic columns of the Hathor Temple's entrance hall. These columns, topped with Hathor-headed capitals, support a beautifully decorated ceiling. column is a testament to the skill of ancient Egyptian artisans, covered in hieroglyphs and figures depicting religious rituals and deities. As we move further inside, we journey from the entrance to the temple's rear sanctuaries. The interior is a labyrinth of rooms and halls, each more sacred than the last, culminating in the Holy of Holies, where the statue of Hathor once resided. Descending into the temple's dark underground passages, we encounter narrow corridors adorned with more hieroglyphs. These tunnels, mysterious and atmospheric, were likely used for sacred rituals and possibly even for the temple's priests to move and see. Emerging from the depths, we ascend to the temple's roof. The rooftop itself was used for celestial observations and rituals, linking the temple's religious functions with the heavens above. As we conclude our visit, we take a final look at the Dendera Temple complex from the outside. This site, rich in history and architectural beauty, 
continues to attract visitors and scholars from around the world, preserving the legacy of ancient Egypt for future generations. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time.